hello hello everyone uh, welcome to my today's uh, tutorials i will be making hand fan so the hand fan i will be making is what i would be explaining to you right now you know there are different types of uh, brighter hand fan so this time around i would be needing to separate the handle of this hand fan and wrap it separately joined to the skeleton of the fan by the way i made this skeleton out of um um what is this ceiling board yeah so i'll be using these gold feathers i would be using uh chest molding and satin to cover a part of it not the entire and fine then i would be needing this uh, good patch to design and also i would be working with trimming both the fat and the um, uh, slim uh, trimming that's what i would be working with to also design so to continue i will start by uh, using the small size of trimming to wrap the handle of the hand fan separately remember both of them were separated so that we can like um join it together after uh, wrapping so i will wrap it separately with the gold trimming and then i would now uh, join it together so both of them are ready what i would do now is to fix the skeleton of the fan between between it and then i would be needing the armor and nail to do that so first of all let me just cover the skeleton so that it would be easy or easier for me to fix the handle so i will pad it first with the light uh, chest wording you know i just want the fabric i would be adding that is the satin to be um uh what will i say now should let it be a little bit um smooth smoother than i just don't want it to rest directly on the skeleton so I pad it up to give it a little bit of a uh, lift so that it will be lifted a little and uh, it will transform it a little as well. You know, when you sew and you add chest wording to the fabric, you know what it will look like. It will give it a little bit of thickness and then also it would um, make it look different from what you are using so because i want to uh, decorate this part of the fan separately that's why i'm padding it up with the chest wording and then i will now add the satin so the feathers i will be using is just one one uh, pack of feathers and i will be decorating just one part of the fan with the feathers while I would be using the patches for the other part of the fan all right and this part that i am covering with the chest wording and satin is the back of this arm fan so there would be no need for me to cover the front of this um of this arm fan because the feathers will cover the entire front so there's no need uh using satin or whatever to cover that front because it would be covered with the feathers and again while you place the satin is necessary that you ensure it is very smooth you know assuming you are going to um, use your letters on it you know that the letters need to be resting on a very smooth base 
So that's why as you place it, you try to make sure you smooth thing. If you can, you can use your UHU -E glue to fix it, but I'm using old glue. So now I want to fix the handle on the fan. So I have to ensure that both the left and the right side are equal. You know, you don't just carry the skeleton and fix in, in between without ensuring that you have uh, to the left and to the right equal measurement. So to do that, we, I started by measuring the length of the handle of the arm fan, which was about um, 19. And then I measured the skeleton of the fan. And then after fixing it at the middle, I have to check what will remain for me on both sides. So that is important that you don't allow one side or uh, one the handle or the SS handle on one side to be uh, longer than the other side. It will not give you a perfect uh, finishing. So at this point, this is the easiest part of uh, this arm fan. What you need to do right now is just to I uh, use the hot glue to glue the feathers on it and while you do that you just uh, use your hands to carefully direct the flow of the feathers so that it would curve according to the shape of the skeleton that you have again I said the feathers I am using for this project is one roll. And I know that in a roll, we have two yards of feathers. So I would use the entire uh, two yards of feathers on the front of this skeleton because the back, I would just use trimming and some of the gold patches that I showed you earlier to decorate it. So that's what will happen on the front uh, side. Okay, you can see how I am trying to uh, guide. Okay, so you see how I am guiding the curve of the feathers along the lines of the skeleton you know so this will make it to relax properly on the skeleton and then um, you also have to ensure that you don't uh, gather it too much on a particular spot so as you glue it you try to pull it a little bit to smoothing the movement and like i said before i would be using the entire uh, one pack on the front so assuming you want feathers on both the back and the uh, front side of this um ant fan then it means you would need to get two pack or two roll of these feathers. The feathers is not that um, full. So if you really want something very, very full, then you would need to work with at least two of it. And even sometimes just covering the front, if you want it very, very full, you would also need to work with above one, let's just say like one and a half or maybe one and a quarter as the case may be. But I worked with just uh, one on this particular project. So if you are a beginner and you are watching my channel for the first time, I want to welcome you to this channel and also encourage you so please subscribe and hit on that notification bell. That one is very important so that whenever I upload a new video, you can 
be notified you'll be among the first persons to know and one interesting thing is when you watch my videos and you have questions i'm readily available to answer your questions and then you can shout me off directly especially if you've been able to find my number in any of my videos if you have access to any of my numbers on my videos a lot of my videos have my number my whatsapp number so you can shut me up directly and i will also respond to you but one thing you should have in mind is that i'm usually very busy so the moment you shut me up might not be the exact time i'll respond to you but the promise is whenever i check or go through my whatsapp and i see your comment i would respond to you all right so i think that will make you to consider subscribing so subscribe to my channel and i will be readily available to guide you through your learning uh, process especially on any video that i upload that you think you are not too clear about all right so after fixing the feathers it would just be time for us to use the uh, patches to go through and decorate it so the first thing i did was to use the uh, gold trimming i used the gold trimming to cover the edges of the feather so that those edges will no longer show so just go through it bit by bit sometimes when you are working with it it's very hot and then the um, glue will start um, leaving some uh, stains on your finger so i always advise that you work with a little bit of water uh, by your side have a little bit of water by your side where you can easily uh, dip in your fingers to uh, reduce the hotness from the glue the if every part that i need to cover is covered even to the very uh, smallest edge that is showing i need to ensure that it's covered after fixing the trimming on it i would be adding uh, some fabric stones on it so when you design your hand fan, whatever accessories you chose to use, I think it should be a thing of choice. You, you can go to the market and you find different uh, accessories that you can use for the completion of your project. So it mustn't be uh, the same accessory that I am using. Once you get to the places where they sell these things in the market, you just find different accessories that are so attractive. And you, you can work with anything. You can come up with anything. That's why we are considered as creators. We, we just invent things. Innovate. Innovation is permitted. Creativity is allowed. And before you know it, you are coming up with different styles. And people are starting to... I uh, follow so you mustn't use what I am using. So this is the fabric um, I'll be using the patches on the back and the front of these feathers. I'll use the, the patches there. And then I would use stones. I thought I came with the stones. If it's not here, don't worry. You will see it at the finishing of this project. So as far as I'm concerned, this project is finished. The only thing I am doing is fixing of stones and I know that you can fix stones on your own. So I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel today. Thank you for choosing Creative Ends. Thank you for subscribing. And if you are yet to subscribe, please do so. And I would see you in my next video. And don't forget you can also contact me if you want me to make your personal one for you. I can make your personal auto your arm fan, 
your turban of choice so you can also contact me if you want me to make for you my whatsapp number will be on the screen shortly so you can contact me for any of such purpose so thank you so much for stopping by today i will see you in my next uh, video so for now from my end is bye thank you